a violent invalidated gang member in Chattanooga now in police custody. Good evening, I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Calvin Sneed. Today, police arrested Darius Harris, who was wanted for attempted first degree murder. Stephanie Sanastasi was there as he was handcuffed. She tells us what led police to him. Stephanie. Calvin Latricia, police arrested Darius Harris just after noon today at Woodlawn Apartments. He's accused of firing shots at a man Sunday morning on Brainerd Road. Police say they knew to come to the apartment complex after receiving an anonymous tip from someone in the community. This video shows Darius Harris handcuffed, being escorted by Chattanooga police and U.S. Marshals outside of Woodlawn Apartments. Police showed up to the complex not knowing at first who was inside. We had a tip that there was um, multiple wanted parties in this apartment. Sergeant Steve Campbell says Harris didn't live here, but he tried to run when police knocked on the door. And somebody tried to climb out the rear window, but we had officers stationed there and that uh, person decided, well, I'm not going to get out the rear window. So as Campbell puts it, Harris accepted his fate. It feels satisfying to help the community out, uh, getting somebody that uh, uh, is willing to try to take somebody else's life. Campbell says arrests like this one take teamwork. That's why CPD works closely with the U.S. Marshals. Marshals are fantastic. They help us out quite a bit uh, with our fugitive work. They help us track violent felons, uh, particularly our, our violent gang members. But Campbell adds not everyone in our community is violent. But it's 20 to 30 guys that are doing a majority of these shootings. And you know, keeping them in custody and keeping them in jail is the difficult trick. Campbell says there was a weapon found inside the apartment, but he didn't say who it belonged to. We tried to talk to other people living in the Woodlawn apartment complex who say they saw the arrest happen. They wouldn't go on camera, but tell us that's the first time they've seen Harris there. Kelvin. Thanks, Stephanie. Campbell says he does not believe Harris has attended one of the VRI call-ins. Police tell us the other person arrested with Harris today is Zachary Smith. He was picked up for a probation violation. Police say Smith is also a validated gang member. As Stephanie mentioned, one of the people arrested today was a validated gang member wanted for a shooting yesterday. Chattanooga police say that Darius Harris was driving alongside an SUV on Brainerd Road when occupants in two cars shot at each other. The SUV crashed into the gas station. Moments later, David Franklin showed up to the hospital with a gunshot to the midsection. Police say there were many shots fired between the two vehicles. They're looking into what may have led to that violence. Could have been drug related or it could have been just two guys having a, a really, really bad night with each other. So we haven't nailed it down to gang violence just yet. Harris faces attempted murder charges and is scheduled to be in court this Wednesday on unrelated charges of aggravated robbery and possession of a firearm. A new report shows some startling information about gun violence against police in Chattanooga. Now one Chattanooga police officer is telling her story about the close call that she had with a suspect. News Channel 9's Josh Rowe tells us more. Josh. Latricia Calvin, the report from the U.S. Department of Justice breaks down firearm assaults against police officers over a five-year period. Chattanooga ranked more than double the national average for a city its size. According to the report, for a city with a population between 100 and 250,000, there are about seven attacks for every 100,000 people. In Chattanooga, there were about 18. One officer in Chattanooga faced that reality when a suspect put a gun to her head and fired. He put the gun to my head. He misfired it uh, two times. It went click, click. It didn't fire. Uh, we struggled more. We went to the ground. Uh, he tried to take my service weapon and he couldn't get it. The officer says that happened in 1990 when she was a rookie. She says she thinks about firearm assaults. They're up across the nation and not just in Chattanooga. Calvin. Thanks, Josh. Police tell us last year they took more than 750 illegal firearms off the streets. To read the entire report, just go to our website, newschannel9.com. An accused child molester is out of jail tonight. William Billy Jackson was released from jail on a $75,000 bond. The parents of the victim told police Jackson molested their daughter at his home earlier this month. Jackson turned himself into the Catoosa County Sheriff for five counts of child molestation. Happening right now, parents in Hamilton County are meeting to learn more about potential zoning changes at one school. Brittany Nicholson joins us.